Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where today John and I have the pleasure of speaking with the baby boom philosopher, Bill Jordan. Hi, guys. Hope you're hey, doing Bill, all right. Good to see you. Um, Bill, we were talking about hobbies not too long ago, and, mm. and you pointed out that the definition of a hobby involved uh, joyful activity and your leisure time. And I thought to myself, uh, I remember guys who, who uh, for instance, a lot of people I knew worked on their cars. Uh, mm. And that was their hobby. But they would spend hours after hours uh, and a lot of hard work, you know, pulling the engine out. Too. I mean, we're talking guys who modified and hot rodded their cars. It seemed to me like that they spent more energy and and on the that hobby, if you will, at night in their garage, you know, uh, sanding fenders or whatever, than they would at their job. Mm. Uh, and uh, model trains is another one. Have you ever seen anybody with the model trains? It's uh, a lifestyle. Yeah, it is. Uh, and, and there's a lot of that going on. And, and the case with that being, you know, he loves his hobby more than his job. That's because he loves his hobby more than his job. Um, well, I mean, that's probably true. You know, I mean, that's that's I mean, that's the, the bare bones of it. The, the best part of it is you, in your working life, if you love your job like a hobby. Um, yeah, that would be. You know, that's that's the best thing is, I mean, I, I had a love affair with uh, radio broadcasting for a long, long time. I still had hobbies, golf back in the day, primarily, where it became an obsession um, and that's kind of fallen off. I, I, I do want to get back into that. Um, and you also, by the way, speaking of your your loving your hobby of the radio station, uh, even though uh, you 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 uh, have slowed down and are taking some well deserved time off after a career in radio, you're still doing voiceover, and I know that you like that because you tell us uh, when we have these side conversations when we're not on the air. You talk about how much you enjoy doing it, and you're looking forward. Hey, I can't, right. I can't do this today because I've got a, I've got a spot that I'm doing for a local car dealership. And you, you, it's not, yeah, the money is probably okay, but the point is that you really seem to enjoy it. So it's probably more than just some extra bucks. I think that's a hobby that you. That's have. A, that's an interesting viewpoint. Yeah, I'd agree with that because I really do enjoy. Um, especially live directed sessions where the client is telling you, okay, change this and change that and trying to dial it in for them yeah. in as few takes as possible. Um, uh, that's so, uh, yeah, I guess maybe that, I guess maybe that is a, is a hobby. Um, um, but the problem is I, I was, you know, before we, before we went on, I was explaining about having some coworkers and one in particular just didn't seem to take it too seriously as far as it was a job. I mean, for me, this is a career. This is, you know, this is what I do. And I made a comment, which I shouldn't have, to another coworker about it. it's like they treat this like it's a hobby. And I, the retort came quickly. No, Bill, people love their hobbies. They care about their hobbies. They try at their hobbies. <laughs> and it's like, you know, you're exactly right. So uh, that was a correct statement. So, um, I mean, hobbies are, are, you know, leisure time, I guess, a hobby. I mean, if you want to be one who sits on the couch and, and binge watches Netflix and that's your hobby, then uh, OK. Um, but, you know, if we can have hobbies, I like to have a hobby that's going to benefit me. I do like to uh, I do like to watch like informational, informational learning stuff on YouTube or whatever. I love TED Talks. I like podcasts where I will learn something. I love to read. I guess that would have to be a that would be a hobby. I like to go uh, shooting. Uh, we've got an indoor range not far from from here where safety is by far the number one priority. And it's just like trying to get a little bit better every week. And it's like golf in that some weeks you got it and some weeks you don't. So well, sports, Bill. Sports is a big hobby. I mean, yeah. I, I, I my daughter picked up tennis. Uh, kids are out of the house. Uh, and she picked up tennis and she plays now. She's in her 50s, low 50s. That's she's playing with women in their 60s and 70s and getting trounced <laughs> on the court. But it's a, for all of those women, that's a hobby. They get together three times a week and they play tennis and then they have cocktails or do whatever they do, you know. Right, right. Well, you know, I think that's great to have a hobby that also is benefiting you. Yeah. That's kind of what my point was, is to find a, a hobby that 
benefit you physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. That would be the ideal. And then there's other ones, of course. Yeah, we sit at night and we'll watch an, an old movie or we'll get launched into some sort of binge watching, whatever the maybe whatever thing is on Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever it might be. But um, the people who's, I mean, a hobby might even be walking. But tennis, you bring up tennis. I mean, I used to be absolutely obsessed with tennis. And then I found golf and I dropped the tennis and picked up golf. <laughs> uh, and then I dropped golf. And uh, like I say, I'm trying to get back to that. My brother's trying to get me to play pickleball. He's oh, yeah. Pickleball. Yeah. That's a big craze now. And uh, I have not tried that. It's so, for us, for old folks. It's tennis for old folks, I think. Right. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's trying to get me to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah actually, a actually, uh, Tom Brady wanna, and some other sports. Hobby you don't want to do, and that's drinking too much. Tom Brady and some other sports uh, personality. Oh, I know uh, uh, James, LeBron James, actually bought professional pickleball uh, 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 teams and are building. So they're sort of on the ground floor. But it is, it's, they're, it's every place here. Uh, we're in a retirement community and they have built several here. The local town has built or converted some of the tennis courts into pickleball because apparently you get a lot of movement, but it's a much smaller space so that, you know, it's probably easier on the knees. Uh, so you don't have to move around as far and things like that. But going back to your hobby, uh, I'm interested that uh, to talk about something that yeah, you brought up because I know that there are some other reasons for it. But I just, uh, I don't know what John, but uh, for the last, uh, my hobbies have changed quite a bit when um, uh, uh, my uh, son was in his teens and and earlier than that, but I guess he was already in the students. We took up uh, a flying model of airplanes and you talk about, uh, they crash a lot. Uh, it's not just all smooth sailing. And so we would be rebuilding uh, yeah. uh, uh, planes just so we can get them up in the air again. And that's part of the, the craft of, of that hobby. Uh, but then every Saturday morning we'd go out and uh, we'd fly at a, a private uh, strip that we belong to with the, uh, about uh, 60 other uh, uh, like-minded people. I did that for a while. Uh, I took up Tai Chi about uh, a dozen years ago. And uh, more than just exercise, because I do go to the gym frequently, which I, I'm not really a hobby, but it's a habit, if you will, but maybe it is a hobby because I sure. enjoy it. Uh, so those are the kind of things that I do. I know that John, John has uh, uh, a, a trees and vegetables and, I would say that that's a pretty serious hobby. You spend a lot of time doing that, don't you, John? Well, it, it's, it, it is a, a hobby for me, I think, but it's also a, a pastime and it's a, a whole bunch of things. And I, it, it's interesting you bring that up, Art, because I think the work that goes into, let's say, gardening, and I've got a relatively large garden, um, mm -hmm. and the, the orchard we have, 20, 25 trees, um, th that work is no different than any other hobby that I've noticed about people. And that is part of the, the benefit of a hobby is that you concentrate on it. You, you get some enjoyment out of it, whatever that is, but you're, you're, you're concentrating on it. You're working at it. You're, you're really, you know, concerned and you're, you spend time and energy and it's, it's a mental thing as well as whatever the physical part of your hobby is. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a meditative yeah, it's, it's good for thing. you. I mean, uh, gardening in particular, my wife, I mean, she, I mean, I don't know where she'd be if we didn't have her flowers and, and plants outside and now inside for uh, for winter. Um, but the whole meditative thing, and, and the other thing is you're speaking to, it's is no matter how much we love our job, it's still the job and it has to be done in a certain way. When you've got a hobby, you can do it your way. You can do yeah. it what you want, or, or if you don't want to do it today. So you've got the final say in the hobby, and that's another I think huge draw is like, you get to choose. It's like, I keep telling my, my grandson, yeah, I know you may not like reading right now because you're being told what you've got to read, but when the day comes when you can just read whatever you want, yes. you're probably gonna love to read. Yeah, yeah. And reading is a good hobby. It, certainly you concentrate on it. That's it. Well, here's, the, here's my newest hobby, which is embracing the boom. Well, I mean, I, I just think we all should. If you're a baby boomer, then, uh, you know, live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom, grab all you got, you know, just go for it. Enjoy it. We're not go done. For it. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Bill. See you, Bill. 
For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.